give me all those adjectives that you normally use for these things. Mr. Speaker, those people are dead as human beings who support such things. In my faith, as a Muslim, the death penalty is what they deserve, people who engage in such things. And I'm proud of that. And I don't care what somebody else feels. The West has never been a moral authority. These are the people who came and enslaved us. And they came and colonized us. And they came and treated us like animals. And now they want to tell us to behave like animals. The next thing that's going to come up... Honorable Farah Malim, which uh, animals engage in homosexuality? No. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I withdraw that bit. I withdraw that bit in the interest and the respect for the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom never engages in that. But the next thing they're going to tell us is that somebody, somebody has a right... A man has a right to marry a woman. They want to tell us that a woman has a right, sorry, to marry another man, or a woman has a right to marry a, a woman. What do we to my women who are married <laughs> do to do? What is there? God has created a man and a woman. It's there in all the Abrahamic scriptures. It's in Islam. It's in Christianity. It's in Judaism. If we allow them to take over our lives. We have allowed them for, for, for far too long for them to exploit us and to dehumanize us as human beings. On this, we will say no. If they're going to come up with the travel, what they call restrictions, keep your country, keep your cultures, keep your nonsense to yourselves. And I'm talking to the West in this case here. Mr. Speaker, we do not the Supreme Court itself does not make laws, it interprets the laws. You are a legal mind, I'm a legal mind. Sodomy is a crime in our books. So how should they come about now and tell us that they should be allowed to associate associate the right association. As you had said, the majority leader has said this is like saying the right of association of the bank robbers, of the murderers, of the killers. In the U.S., there are a number of states that have got the death penalty. And the death penalty is for crimes like murder. And the biggest number of people who are on the death rows are fellow blacks. In the U.S. And in Texas and a number of other states where they have Republican governors, they execute them. We cannot come go there and tell them, don't take away life. They will tell you, these are our laws. Mr. Speaker, not only shall we come with a motion of censure on the Supreme Court itself for trying to legislate from the bench, from the bench, instead of interpreting the, 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 the laws of the country, they want to legislate from the bench by trying to look politically correct with the Western world. They do not deserve to sit as a bench. There is need for us to bring a motion on here to ask them, where did you get this piece of legislation? Here is the act that criminalizes homosexuality. We must take them to task on that. As for us, I am on the, of the opinion that we should pass a capital punishment on such offenses. Capital punishment, Mr. Speaker. They have their own capital punishment on murderers, on other people. Most of them are blacks who have been framed in the U.S. and we cannot interfere in their laws. They go on killing those people there because they say they committed murders. Here we are telling them this thing is worse than murder for us in our cultures as, as Africans, as black people, as a... Uh, Mr. Speaker, can you give me one more minute as a ranking member and a former deputy speaker? <laughs> as, as, or two minutes for me, actually. Uh, and, and, and we, yeah. we have a right. Honorable Farah Malim, the speaker has not spoken. Oh, okay. okay. You have two minutes. <laughs> Don't <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we take charge of our own destiny. 
we take charge of our they are going to legalize marijuana they are going they have legalized what do you call everything very soon they are going to legalize the drugs that are going to destroy our generations and children in here it is in my very humble opinion that we take charge of our countries we are independent we are a sovereign state we have our cultures our cultures do not conflict African cultures on some of these fundamental issues are the same. It doesn't matter whether you're a Christian or a Muslim or you're a traditionalist. We all have a common culture on such things. It's my opinion, my humble opinion, that we should change that piece of act itself and prescribe capital punishment for people who can be proven to have engaged in these kind of things. When I say capital punishment, Muslims, where there's a serious Islamic states who follow their own scriptures, they carry out capital punishment on them. They do not deserve to live. In my opinion, humble opinion. They should be, yes, indeed. The next thing they're going to come to us is say that one has to be a, has the right to marry a dog. Or one has the right to marry an ape or anything. Just imagine a day in which somebody will come and say that this goat is my wife or this what you call Ram is my husband and this is my right of association. I have chosen to have this as a husband and a woman will come. That is, that is the direction in which they are going. We are not going to be part of that. The earlier we put our foot down, they give us nothing. They only take away things from us. The earlier we put our foot very hard down and say, on this, no, the better. And I commend such countries like the president of, uh, uh, of, of Uganda, Yoweri Museveni, the, our, our, uh, the president of Malawi. The, of course, Mugabe was one guy who called out these things many years back and told them, these are nations of gays and what you call lesbians, and these are not people that we can talk to. It's, it's a, something we frown upon. We see them as subhumans. How does a subhuman tell you what to do and how to live in your own lives? So we, we, we must be able to stand on our own grounds and as a continent, as the leaders. We are the leaders of this country. That should never be allowed. They should never, ever be allowed to bring this decadent, obnoxious, un-African culture. Support. Thank you, Honorable Farah Malim. Uh, the, the Chair of Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, the Honorable Gitonga Murugara, the MP for Tharaka. Thank you. It's in the house now that we are talking about the Supreme Court. I think. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir, allow me to also voice my concerns about this decision. And uh, from the outset, say we, we are not, as a house, attacking the Supreme Court. But we are expressing a totally differing opinion with what they rendered. <clears throat> that we speak. We may not speak as a 